and he's pretty much going 10 yards down 10 yards through the route he's going to be going instantly even with like one step ahead you're going to see this type of separation where he's essentially like eight yards away nothing but space behind him super glitchy route <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today, and I'm in a brand new playbook. I'm in the Minnesota Vikings playbook. Now, I'm currently online. I'm using a lot of Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I told you guys in a video recently that I do intend to move on to a new book, and I got to be honest with you, I'm really feeling the Vikings playbook. This particular playbook has so many great formations already, so many meta formations, like the Eye from Close, which I already put out a bunch of good stuff from, the Strong Close, which obviously everybody knows about, uh, and the formation I'm going to focus on today is really going to be geared towards uh, the meta defense. I feel like when you run offense, you have to have a lot of plays in your offense right now to play online against uh, cover three zone, which is really popular, and probably the most popular, which is either cover one man or cover zero man uh, blitz, which is, you know, people are running the uh, the 20 yard flats uh, out of Mike 335 uh, Mike Blitz. That's a very popular defense. It's a very hard defense to stop. So you're going to need some plays like the plays I'm going to show you guys today out of this formation, most specifically the Z option. The Z option is probably one of the best plays in the game right now when it comes to beating defenses specifically like that. So I'm going to show you guys a full scheme, a couple of really good man beating plays because to me, man, man zero and man one are probably two of the hardest to beat defenses right now. They're probably two of the most popular. So I'm going to show you guys a full scheme on that. This particular play is found in four different playbooks. I've had a lot of requests for people saying they want Seahawks plays. It's in the Seahawks. It's also in the, uh, the Bills and the Browns. Rounds. So if you use any of those playbooks, you will have this in the single back bunch ace. So we're going to pick the Z option on the defensive side. Like I said, I mean, I don't know if this particular playbook. Yeah, I guess they do have that 3-3-5 wide. I'm not going to set up like most people do online. Just like I said, for the most part, maybe I will. I guess I'll probably plug in the second remote just to make this as legit as possible. But we're going to try to go specifically at this defense, which is something a lot of people are using. So like I was saying, I mean, what most people are doing right now, what I see a lot of different defenses of people doing is they're, they're coming out in zone drops curl flats 20 25 we'll just go to 20 um and you know this is pretty much the look i'm gonna make sure i set that right this is pretty much the look people are just coming out in a lot of three three five uh you know mike blitz zero we'll just go with that but a lot of people are also using cover one that's still very popular as well so they can have that mid-tier safety but we're gonna go with the mike zero blitz because i think this one's probably the the tougher one to beat so we'll pick that on defense gotta repick our play on offense but like i said you need you know any playbook i'm gonna use i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure that i have a relative number of uh you know man beating plays and the z option is perfect for that so let's go and let's pick that now before i get into this video as always just want to give a shout out to my coin sponsors moxp.com if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check them out and use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order link in the description below uh, as far as this play goes like i said most people here we'll start off on the defensive side because this should look familiar a lot of people are running uh defenses just like this where they basically put these uh these outside guys on curl flats either 20 or 25 yards a lot of time it's safeties i'm not going to do the full down shifting um you know i'm gonna i'm just gonna run it like this i don't want to do a lot of people shift over from a certain formation to get this formation so they have safeties rocking these curl flats i'm not going to do that but you guys should know that this type of defense if you're playing online right now you're probably running this defense every other game to say the least um it's one of the most popular defenses in the game right now i don't particularly run it because i like to run my own stuff but ultimately uh you're going to need plays that beat this defense now this x route here is going to do that now if you like a lot of people you know for when it comes to man people just run this is a defense really made up for crossers so if you run a lot of crossing uh type of plays this is supposed to you know this defense is going to shut this down this is your this is your idea on how to beat this where you're essentially just crossing routes then these routes are going to they're going to get shut down because these underneath routes are going to come right into it you can see i mean nothing's really open there for the most part i mean you know that's pretty much the look so based off the fact that crossers don't really work you don't really have a ton of options but this play is great because it's really an instant one play touchdown with this little stop and go route that the x route is running it's different than any other stop and go route most stop and go routes aren't guaranteed this particular play is pretty much guaranteed all you have to do is put them on a smart route I put this play out, I want to say, at the beginning of the year, but that was so long ago, I'm sure people don't really remember it, and it really comes in handy now. So, based off the fact that, you know, all I got to do is smart route that X route, I'll block my running back, block my tight end, 
um, you know, things like that, just to make sure that I have a little bit of extra time because this is a single replay. On the defensive side, we'll go ahead. We'll do the, uh, you know, we'll just do this. Um, we'll do this the full way of no, you know, it's whatever. That part doesn't really come into play at all. That's kind of the point. But we'll put these guys in the curl flats, uh, and then this is pretty much it. So, like I said, I'm just going to drop back, navigate the pocket a little bit, and you can see this is an instant uh, release, one play touchdown against this type of defense. So let's go to the replay to see what happened there. I mean, this play is so fast, your opponent's never going to know what hit him. So basically, this guy here, this is a, this this route that he's running here. There's another play in the gun bunch called the Z spot where he just basically comes and stops. You can't find this particular play in any gun bunch as far as I know. I wish I could run out of gun bunch, but it's only in the gun single back where he basically comes to a stop. In the gun bunch version, he stops here and waits for the pass, but here it's just it's just such a dirty route. Like it, it beats this cornerback pretty much every time. You can see the underneath routes really have no effect on it at all because they're basically zoned as a completely different area. And he's pretty much gone 10 yards down, 10 yards through the route. He's gone. I could throw this ball at any point in time uh, based off the fact that I shortened it. He's going to be gone instantly, and we have just such an easy, explosive one-play touchdown against these type of defenses. So I'm not going to keep setting up the defense. You see how this really doesn't have an effect. I'm going to turn this uh, off now because <laughs> I don't feel like doing this. Oh, it's going to prolong the play, but you see, you see the idea. So I'll do this offensive play one more time just to show you guys it's no, it's no fluke. But I'm not going to keep putting these guys into flats. So like I said, you can see it's just instant. And it's so quick, your opponent's never going to know what hit them. They're just going to be looking up at the scoreboard. Uh, and they're going to keep an eye on that formation. I got other plays out of this formation. But they're going to be keeping an eye. Every time you come out in this particular formation, they're probably going to start using that X route. But by the time they do, you'll have a couple of touchdowns on top of them. So like I said, this route right here, without a doubt, one of the most important routes in the game right now when you run against defenses like this. Another really good man-beating play uh, is the PA fork shot. This one here, this is the reason I'm doing this video is the PA fork shot. I was going to do uh, this play out of the Ravens because I have a really good passing scheme out of that. But I wanted to show that Z option play because to me that's a really important part of it. But this is another really good man beating play. So I'm going to start off with that same man zero blitz because obviously people like to blitz out of this formation. I'm just going to block my running back and I'm going to show you how this X route here, if you throw this ball on timing, will get open against just about any man coverage in the game. Now you will get some weird animations like right there. You almost came to like a complete stop but it's really all about the timing of this throw i'll go to the replay once again against any man coverage this route right here will get open if you time it properly you can see right here he's running inside it's all about you know throwing it on the break basically you can see this cornerback is facing the other way he's treating it like a streak if you bullet past lead outside at the break like i am perfectly timed because i've thrown this a million times i'll probably have some gameplay clips in the beginning of the video um but if you throw it on the break right there he's going to be open every single time you can see it's instant separation against any man coverage like i said this is not the first time i've gone over this particular route i'm pretty sure i've done it in another video like i said that's the only thing i wish i had a faster a little more agile uh receiver it seems like he's kind of coming out of this with a little bit of a hitch in his step uh and then you can see right there even when i don't get the timing out i can still get in a position um um, to, to make a play on that ball. But like I said, it's really all about, I can tell already, I'm also not, you can see it there, that was like 10 yards separation coming out of that break. But I'm also not canceling the play action. I keep forgetting to cancel the play action pre-snap. Let's go to the replay one more time. Like I said, I mean, this it's all about this route and it's all about timing. If I make that throw correctly, I mean, this tight man coverage, even with like one step ahead, you're gonna see this type of separation where he's essentially like eight yards away with nothing but you know room to catch nothing but space behind them i mean you're going to get this look all the time super blitzy route now man coverages do react differently um but it won't really matter so we'll pick that exact same play we'll go with man zero i feel like man zero is probably the easiest one to beat so we'll pick i'm sorry not man zero cover one hole we'll pick cover one this time they play a little bit off a little bit softer but it's going to be the exact same result as you can see right here. I mean, it's all about that throw. Like I said, once again, I don't know why I'm getting a weird animation where he's almost like kind of, he's just kind of not, he was not feeling really agile. I mean, this will be a lot easier if you got a good mutt team. That's for darn sure. So you can see right there, that throw was a little bit late. And I could go to the replay to show uh, how I messed that up because I didn't quite get the catch and run. Like I said, timing is key. You throw this ball too early or too late and this play will not uh, work out as well. Like I said, he's facing the other way. I should be throwing it already. If I go back, I'm, I, I guess I'm winding up, but I feel like I threw a little bit late. Maybe he just came out of the break bed. 
it's really important when you throw this ball. That's all I can really say. That's the bottom line. Is you really had to throw this ball on timing. So I'll show. I'll throw this ball a little bit early just to show you what happens. You can see right there. He's definitely on top of him there. I'm surprised he didn't knock it out. That was an early throw. I'll also show you what happens if I throw it too late because this cornerback here will definitely catch up. You can see right there. It catches up, making a play on the ball. So timing is key. You really got to get the timing down. That's one of the main reasons I'm blocking this running back because I don't really feel like, uh, you know, the play action is definitely going to, there, there's an early throw. You can see it's an interception. But like I said, you're watching that cornerback. You're really watching um, to see when this cornerback turns his back and that's when you make that throw. It's not really the receiver as much as just the cornerback that you're waiting on. And you can see you can make very easy plays like this. But like I said, I'm blocking this running back because I don't want that uh, animation to get in the way. As you can see right there, that once again, a little bit late on the throw. The cornerback had already kind of turned around. So, I mean, it's still, you know, still a good play. But like I said, timing's everything. Now, cover two, man, which is what I'm in now, reacts the most differently. Uh, based off the fact there's a safety over the top typically these cornerbacks will be in the receiver's face a lot of times pressing and stuff like that so in that scenario you might even have to go as far as low throwing this just to guarantee that you don't get the ball knocked out from the safety you could also motion this guy out a little bit um, to try to get uh, a little bit more separation from that safety but i still feel like the inside release is probably best um, you know, but you can see it still works even on the outside. So against cover two man, you can you can work in tight like this, but it also makes it a little bit easier for the safety to make a play. So you can motion them out and give yourself a little bit of space. Now that play is really the man side, but the other side you have a lot of really good zone concepts. So let's go and let's pick that, uh, and then I'm just going to uh, start off with cover two zone. Now the left side, that receiver is all man coverage. It really is easy to split this play up. He's going to beat your man. The other side is going to beat your zone. All you have to do for zone concepts is uh, pretty much just put the uh, you know the, the the RB route in the flat, the B on a streak, and you have your typical you know high low concept against just about any zone. Uh, so right here, like if it's a man or it's a, a cover two, like this is, I have this uh, this tight end. You know what I mean? Going going straight to the opening. It's really that simple. Against cover three, it's going to have the exact same effect, but pretty much the same route's going to get open. You could also shorten this route if you don't want to wait for it to be, you know, it's kind of long. You can also get this guy underneath. Like I said, if you shorten that route, a lot of times that'll be the best play catch and run. That's going to be your zone side. It's really that simple. You got your man side on the left side, your zone side on the right side, and pretty much all the zone coverages are going to react the same to these three routes. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, uh, but as always, if you guys want to see uh, more plays from this, I'm going to have more plays from this particular scheme on my patreon and on my join now community as well as in my ebook um from the vikings which i made early in the year so like i said it's one of my favorites i'm also going to uh, put out some full length videos i'm going on vacation uh next week i think what mid-april i'm going on vacation i'm going to florida so if you guys want to see that while i'm going hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below